What's going on guys, your casual gamer here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an original Xbox emulator called XMU. Okay, let's head on over to xmu.app. The link to this page is in the description below. I'm going to be downloading this emulator for Windows, so I could download this emulator right here, download for Windows. But if you're using Mac, come up to the left corner and click on download, and you will find your download right here. Also, on the home page, if you would like to see games that are compatible with this emulator, then just scroll down and you would get to the compatibility list. And you can scroll through here and see what games are playable. Now, there are two other things you're going to need to get this emulator up and running, with the first thing being a Xbox BIOS. Now, I'm sorry guys, I cannot tell you where to find an Xbox BIOS. Just know that if you go to Google and search for a BIOS, I'm pretty sure you will find some links. The second thing you will need is a disk image file, which you can find here on this site. So if we go back up to the top left and click on download, then over here to the left, go down to required files and then look over here to the right and click on flash ROM image. And right here you will see download pre-formatted Xbox hard disk image. Go ahead and download this. We are also gonna need 7-zip to extract the files we just downloaded. So if you don't already have 7-zip installed on your PC, the link is in the description below. So here on my desktop, I have XMU, the hard disk image, and my BIOS file. All three of these need to be extracted. We're gonna start with the actual emulator, which is this file right here. If you have 7-Zip installed, go ahead and right click on it, go to show more options, 7-Zip, and extract to XMU. That will create you a new folder containing your emulator, so we can go ahead and delete the zip folder. Now for our next two files, the image file and the BIOS, we're gonna move both of these files into this folder. Now go ahead and open the folder and we're gonna extract these two folders inside of this folder. Let's start with the BIOS, right click, show more options, 7-zip, and extract to Xbox. Go ahead and delete the zip folder, and now let's extract our image file, right click, show more options, 7-zip, and this time we're gonna select extract here, and delete the zip file. Now there's actually one more file we're gonna need to get this emulator up and running. I almost forgot about it, and it's a second BIOS called Complex 4627 version 1.03. Now once again, I'm sorry, I cannot tell you where to find this file, but I will say that Google is your friend, and so is my Patreon. So let's drag this file into that Xbox BIOS file. Open the folder. And we're going to go ahead and extract this file within this folder. And we're going to do extract here. Delete the zip folder. And there we go. Now we can go ahead and open the emulator and that will be this file here. Now when you open the emulator for the first time, it may automatically take you to the settings. If not, you want to come up here to machine settings and the first thing you want to do is add your boot rom go ahead and click right here and inside of my bios folder the file you want to add will be this file here the mcpx 1.0.bin file next we're going to add our flash rom once again go back into that bios folder and this time you want to select that complex 4627 version 1.03.bin file and then we're gonna do the hard disk. And this will be that image file. It should read xboxhdd.qcow2. Now let's go up to display. You can select your internal resolution scale and this can go all the way up to 10 times. Anything past three or four, you really won't notice that big of a difference. So I'm just gonna go two times. Now this is up to you, full screen on startup. If you would like for XMU to start in full screen when open, go ahead and click this on. Window size, you wanna change this to whatever your monitor's resolution is. In my case, mine is 1920 by 1080. Then let's scroll all the way to the bottom. And for the aspect ratio, if you leave it on default, you're gonna play your games in a four to three aspect ratio but I like to change this to 16 to nine, so I'm playing in full screen. Now I will let you know, in some games, your screen may look a little stretched. 
Now let's go up to input. Now I'm going to be using an Xbox Series controller. I know that an Xbox One controller will work as well, as well as a wired controller. And as long as you are using an Xbox controller, there is no setup required. All I need to do is turn on my controller. And as you see, you will get a little alert in the right corner, connected Xbox Series controller. Now to make sure all of your settings are saved, you want to back out of the emulator and then reopen it. Now let's go ahead and load up a game. Let's go up to machine, load disk. Locate wherever you have your Xbox ROMs. In my case, I have a game on my desktop. So right here I have Project Gotham Racing and you have to make sure your ROMs are in an X ISO format to be playable in this emulator. Go ahead and select the game. And now we have to exit out of the emulator again and restart the emulator in order for the game to boot. And as you see, now the game is loading. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you need additional help with this emulator, then check out the videos I have available on my Patreon channel, link in the description below. Hopefully, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.